So hey y'all and welcome. Welcome back to Lisa's Cottage and welcome into my Tuesday. Today's project that I'm looking at doing or getting myself into would be painting for the first time this table in six chairs here. Try not to leave our stuff out throughout the whole year so it doesn't get faded and lose color and it needs to be repainted. And we did buy this and we knew it was a brown, but it's a set that I wanted. So this time I'm just gonna paint it uh, for the first time. I'll say that one more time. And I'm sure y'all are like, you have already said that once, you don't need to say it again. Black, I'm just going black all the way around with everything that I'm either uh, painting for the first time, repainting for the first time, or giving it a fresh coat. So that's where I'm gonna start today, is hopefully getting this done, getting the umbrella put up, opened, getting the cushions out, and putting them down where they go. So, uh, let us get started, and us as in me and Sophie, and bringing you all along. Water filled up for her, fountain filled up for me. Starting to set things up for my day, out here to be sweaty. I will need to get started on my painting project today. I went ahead and grabbed a handful I'll of boxes. Just use my box cutter and uh, open them all up to lay them out on the ground because I'm going to have to do this inside the fence so I can keep an eye on her. We've not really left her inside the fence without us being at least within hearing distance or visual where we could see her like if I were in the house and I could see her out the back windows. I don't want to give her that opportunity to know that she could climb or dig under the fence. So she doesn't really realize she can do that and I don't want her to ever realize that. So I'll just be doing that inside the fence and all she will do is go ahead and jump up in one of those chairs and she will just sit and watch me. Hopefully, that's what she's always done before for me. And I grabbed a, two of the um, gloves that I use for cleaning and I will put those on because when I'm using, when I'm spraying, it tends to get on my fingers, my fingernails, and I end up making just a wee bit of mess when I'm spraying. And I see he's got me some goodies in here. However, I know they're not really mine. So I'll put those back inside the door and carry them out to the garage on my next round. But I'm gonna get to opening these up, lay them out in the grass, and I'm just gonna do one chair at a time. And I'm sure I'll have to go get more cardboard boxes when I get to the table. So we've got plenty of those. No shortage in cardboard boxes that probably more than likely came from Amazon. I went ahead and opened the boxes up, brought them down here to this far corner and laid them out and put four of the six chairs on the boxes and that's just to hold them down. And I will just flip them over and do the underside first and then just start working my way up. Instead of working your way from the top to the bottom, I'm gonna be working my way from the bottom up to, to the top. That's where I'm gonna get started. And looks like there's only one, two, three, four, maybe five cans of paint. That's not going to get it. So more of that will have to be picked up. But better to get started with what I've got than to continue to procrastinate and not get started at all. Right? Right. And I did get started with the spray painting. And I didn't wear those gloves after all. They make my hands just so sweaty and yucky. I couldn't handle it. So I went and got some garden gloves that I wouldn't mind messing up. And for some reason she thinks she's got to go everywhere I go. I mean, I'm like just going in for a minute and coming right back out. And then she's got to go in for a minute and she'll come right back out with me. Sometimes. Sometimes she don't want to come right back out when I've had her out here all day with me. So I did get one chair done. Um, well, it's not completely done. It's got the base coat on it. And then I'll look it over and see if I need to do any um, painting where I overlooked it and then a second coat. But I'll get the most of that work done on these. And I'm just gonna keep going with what I've got here. But I know we're gonna have to pick up more because it's taken maybe a can three quarters of a can for one chair. Does it drive you bonkers when you're so close to being complete with the job and then you run out of that that you're using to do the job? I've gotten the four chairs, those done. 
in which I went and put my glasses on so I could see better and I see some areas that I'm just gonna have to mist over it to get it uh, completely covered but I think Ken will be pretty happy with it and say I think good enough is good enough and he will call it done I'm not sure if you can see but like right there that needs to be hit and quite a bit of the areas here needs to be uh, sprayed over again so, and I could see that without my glasses, so imagine what I could see with my glasses. But I was down to um, the last chair, and I either just rub paint in my or sunscreen my. I'm covered in black paint. And I think Ken must be wanting this project done too because I told him I was down to my last can and on the last chair, however, I still had the table and umbrella stand. He's like, oh, do you want me to go get you some? And I'm like, that would be awesome would you so he volunteered to go get it so either he's wanting this done or he doesn't want it to be incomplete where maybe it gets assigned to him who knows but you can see where i run out and i started with these chairs just turning them completely upside down and balancing them the best i could to get all the underneath done so i need to finish that one up of course and then hit all of them probably with just a light mist and call that done but I'm gonna need help um, bringing the table down to where I, uh, where I have the six chairs right now and if you hear something that's my boots squeaking <laughs> but um, he I'm gonna ask him to help me move that while he uh, is out here when he brings the can of paint to, the cans of paint to me what I can do is take the pole out here and I can get up under the table there and slide the um, umbrella stand out and I can carry that Usually down. This stuff is already set up by this time. So I was like, you know what? I need to really get this stuff done before July, August and September gets here because come uh, like November and December, it really needs to get put back up. So we are behind on a lot of things this year. We've had a lot of things to come up and had to have those addressed first. And now I'm getting to get the things done that I was hoping or had on my list to get done. And my list is so long, I don't think it's going to all get done this summer. But my main goal was to get the patios set up and the stuff repainted out here. As well as beyond the fence there, pressure washing the uh, wooden bridge and repainting that this year. And I was wanting to repaint Ken's um, shed there. But those two projects I definitely want done. The patio set up and the bridge done. And then once I get that done, I can move on to the other projects. The paint fairy came with a load or a bag full of paint. I think they were wanting to make sure this stuff got done and they understood. I am covered in black paint and seriously, I mean covered. So they understood that I only wanted to get this nasty, this covered in black paint once instead of having to come back at another day and finish the project. So here I am, I've um, done the first coat and then a second mist here on the bottom of the table and I'm gonna let it dry up just where it's not quite so tacky and I'll hit it one more time with a light mist and then uh, stand it up so I can do the top side. And then I'll just get to wait for it all to dry very well before we take it back up to the patio. So this has been my project for Tuesday and it looks like I'm going to be able to see it uh, come to a close. Yay, about time, over to It will be a project that I'll be able to get past the exhaustion and all the paint fumes and think, Boy, I'm glad I got that done because now it's time to enjoy it before we are hitting uh, October, November, December, and then we're having to put it away. So hopefully I'm getting it done in time enough to be able to enjoy it. And I'm not sure if the Grandies are gonna come in for a week or two this summer or not. We hadn't even really discussed that the past couple of summers. Um, we've been going into Alabama probably like once a month or a month and a half we'd go in and just spend the weekend with them not only did the paint fairy come bearing a bag full of paint for me they also brought me lunch which will be my lunch dinner and then for what would be dinner time 
it will be watermelon and cantaloupe okay hopefully the next time you see it after this time I will have it all set up in the patio all put together. hopefully I will be able to share that with you all I'm gonna let this coat dry you can see where it's still very wet and just do any touch-ups that I need to do and to do that I'll have to put my glasses on to see the surface better and make sure I got everything well covered this is why it's good to let the coats um, dry in between so you can see what needs to be hit again and then to check and make sure you've got all of the surface well covered so now I'm just gonna let all this get good and dry and look at it again before I call it done and then once I'm able to call it done put this stuff away and then I call it double done but I can see areas right here that's gonna have to be hit again okay that's where I'm at for today this was Tuesday's project spray painting the patio furniture so I can get the cushions out of the cushion bin, get the umbrella set up, and start to get this patio together for summer 2018. I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out and um, go ahead and get it edited. Edited, edited, that's a word. Go ahead and do the edits and get it uploaded and uh, set it to go live. And then hopefully um, my next video will be a patio reveal. I was starting to put it together yesterday and we pulled out this umbrella. This is the one that goes here in this section. That one over there, my string popped. Well, I've got it laying down right now because we were due some storms today and if it gets too windy, it will knock it over and I'm afraid it will crack the concrete. So I just go ahead and I lay it down when I know that it's supposed to get windy. Um, and then I've got some other things that I want to get done and hopefully I will be doing a at least a lower patio reveal uh, once I get everything put together the way <laughs> that it usually gets put together every year I'm just a little behind but I guess better late than never right <laughs> so you can see I did get that stuff painted and put back that's what this video is gonna be about <laughs> me painting this set here and I have other pieces that I will be painting and doing a few things here and there and do possibly a patio reveal from Elisa's cottage that's not really a cottage. It's a rainy day here our way. We needed it. We need more than what's coming down. At least it is getting the garden somewhat wet and I can see the weeds popping up already but that'll have to be a weekend project as well as uh, a whole lot of other things. I'm just going one project at a time, just plugging away at it until I can call them done and then move on to the next one. But this is where I'm gonna close out today's video. I hope you all are having a marvelous, uh, today's Thursday, I hope you all had a marvelous week. I hope you've got great plans for your weekend. But this is where I'm gonna say, until we meet again, you all take good care and bye-bye.